So, you want to install mod packs for Minecraft in 2025? Well, you have come to the right video. I'm going to teach you an easy, free, and fast way of installing mod packs for Minecraft Java in 2025. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, guys, you have to know that there are multiple ways of installing a mod pack for Minecraft. There is a manual way, which usually takes very long, and it's hard to install multiple mod packs whenever you please. And then there is the easy way, the one that everybody mainly uses, which is downloading a launcher. Like, for example, the one we're going to install in this video called CurseForge. There's multiple launchers out there, and we'll make videos on all of them, but we want to use the most popular one right now, the one that most people use for mod packs, which is called CurseForge. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to this guide in here on how to download and install CurseForge. You don't have to follow the guide, but I'm going to leave it there for those of you that do like to read and look at the screenshots. If you just want to get it straight to the point, scroll down to the download step and then click the CurseForge button. That is going to redirect you to this page over here where you're going to download the installer for CurseForge according to your operating system. Most of us have Windows, but if you have Mac or Linux, you could download them down here, right? But most of us have Windows. So let's go ahead and click download a standalone and the download will begin right away for the installer of CurseForge. Now, by the way, while CurseForge downloads, if you want to play mod packs with friends, the process is different. You have to create a server, port forward, and do a lot of hard things. So to make it easy, I went ahead and got you guys 25% off with Apex Hosting, which will actually let you create a server for any mod pack that you want. And you could actually do this with just a click of a button in less than five minutes. If you use the first link in the description, you get 25% off with Apex Hosting. So go ahead and take advantage of that deal. They have locations all around the world, so no matter where your friends are they'll have a good connection to your server again thank you apex hosting for giving us that deal and now let's keep going with the tutorial after just a couple seconds we got the curseforge installer downloaded and we're going to go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop now with the curseforge installer in our desktop let's just go ahead and launch it all you have to do is double click on it you might get an administrator prompt asking you to allow this app to run if you do just allow it to run if you don't then you'll be over here where you can select the language of your application i'm going to leave it in english and i'm going to hit next i'm going to click i accept the terms of use if you don't know what that is just go ahead and read through it and if you want to change the installation folder you do have to launch this as an admin however the regular default installation folder works for me so i'm going to leave it as it is and i'm going to hit next one more time and now we just have to wait for cursor to install by the way you could also use CurseForge to mod other games, not just Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it for Minecraft specifically. But you could actually mod many, many games with CurseForge. Now, once CurseForge installs, it's going to launch automatically and the installer will close. And after that, you could even delete the installer from your desktop because you don't need it anymore. Now, chances are that when CurseForge opens for you, you're not going to be presented with this screen. You're actually going to be over here in the home page and you're going to get a little prompt saying, do you want to do a tutorial? You could just skip that and then it's going to put you over here where you're going to select Minecraft, obviously. But as you can see, you will have other options, right? In this video, we're going to select Minecraft and then that'll bring you over here where you most likely don't have any mod pack. As you can see, I have one mod pack right now, but you won't have any in here. And to install mod packs, guys, it's actually quite simple. You're just going to click browse here on the top or you could also just search for a specific mod pack. If you have one mod pack in mind that you want to play, you could search for it in here. But in this case, I'm just going to hit browse and now to install and play any mod pack, all you have to do is to select the mod pack that you want and then hit install. I'm going to go ahead and install all the mods standing here. Very popular mod pack. You also have our craft, better Minecraft, pick someone, a lot of mod packs that people do play. And once you hit install, you're gonna wait for that to install. You can find that mod pack actually here on my mod packs and pay attention to this part because it's quite important. Anytime that you want to play your Minecraft mod pack that you install through CurseForge, you're gonna have to open CurseForge. You're not going to be able to play these mod packs through your regular Minecraft launcher. You're going to have to open CurseForge and launch them through here. If you want to play these mod packs individually on your Minecraft launcher, then you're going to have to download that mod pack and install it manually using a mod loader, which is a little bit more complicated and more advanced. But if you guys want me to do a tutorial on that, just let me know down here in the comments. If you don't want to install the CurseForge launcher for whatever reason, let me know down in the comments. And there we go. After a while, all the mods then have been installed. Let's go ahead and hit play. And this is again how you're going to play all your mod packs. And now what's going to happen guys is that a new minecraft launcher is going to open so you might have to log in one more time with your minecraft account you only have to log in once as you can see it has my account already in there you only have to log in once and then after that you don't have to log in again and you don't have to worry guys as this is actually the official minecraft launcher this is not some other launcher this is official minecraft launcher it's just open through curseforge which means it's a different instance so it's kind of installing a different folder and that's why you have to log in but you're actually logging into your regular minecraft launcher just in a different instance a different version of the launcher so this is not going to affect you in any way it's just log in here and you'll be able to play that mod pack and there we go once you log in into this launcher you're gonna have 
your mod pack selected in here. Now, something I like to do with most of my mod packs is actually heading over to installations, hovering over the mod pack, and then clicking on these three dots and hitting edit, and then more options to change the RAM amount that I let the mod pack use. If you don't know how much RAM you have in your computer and why this is important, it's super simple. The more RAM you give your mod pack, the better it's going to perform as mod packs have a ton of mods, so they need actually a good amount of RAM to perform better. If you don't know how much RAM you have, again, just right click down here, hit task manager, and then in here, head over to performance. And in here, look for memory. And as you can see, I have 16 gigabytes right here, 16 gigabytes of memory. Usually you don't wanna give more than 50% of your total RAM into a mod pack. And since I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, I'm going to give my mod pack eight gigabytes to run on. Right now it has four, that's why it says 4,096. That is the amount of megabytes in thousands, which equal gigabytes, right? So 4,000 uh, megabytes equal four gigabytes. I'm going to change that into a simple number. I'm going to type eight, and then I'm going to type a capital G, which are eight gigabytes, right? And we're also going to change this number here, which is the minimum that we're letting the mod pack run on. And I'm going to change that to one G. So one, and then a capital G, and that's telling the mod pack, hey, you could use at least one gigabyte of RAM and the max I'm allowing you to use is a gigabyte. It doesn't mean that it's going to use it all the time, but if it needs to, it's going to increase the RAM that is pulling from your computer to perform better. So once you're happy with that number, just hit save here on the bottom. I'm going to move and I hope you guys could see it. And then just hit save in there. And then you can now play that mod pack. You're going to get this prompt in here. If you don't know what this is, click read more about play safety feature, click understand the risk, and then hit play. And then your mod pack will start loading depending on the mods that you have and how heavy your mod pack is. It's going to take longer, but let's just go ahead and wait for this to load. And there we go. All the mods 10, the mod pack that we install have loaded. And let's go ahead and launch a single player world just so you, you can see in here that this is real. And again, if you want to play this in multiplayer instead of single player, use that first link in the description and let Apex Hosting handle the server creation for you in less than five minutes. And here we go. We have loaded into one of the mod packs. Well, and there's thousands of mod packs for you to look for. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you're able to install mod packs, don't forget to subscribe. That's all we ask in return. And as always, bye bye.